Hi everyone, now let's proceed to question number 8 of the past examination mathematics for the grade 10 students uh, year 2010. So this is now the question number 8 and the question number 8 is all about this uh, given diagram in which uh, the uh, composite uh, uh, shape consists of a square and a semicircle. Now in this given uh, diagram from this given diagram with the given sides in algebraic expression you are asked to uh, form a formula okay a formula for the area of this total uh, composite shape okay the uh, composite shape we have the square and the semicircle if you look at it the one side of a square is measured 2x 2x so in order for us to clearly and find out which of these options are uh, which of these options is the formula uh, to find the area of this composite shape let us redraw this uh, given diagram so the diagram is like this this is a square uh, that's a square okay and this square has a semicircle on it okay a semicircle and the measurement so since this is a square meaning that all sides of the square is equal and this symbol is also shown in the exam paper and the side is measured to x okay so this side here is 2x and this one is 2x. Now in the national examination, it is always good that you are going to redraw the diagram from the question paper into your rough paper. Take time. Uh, at least you have three hours to uh, work out the problem. And then you have to uh, redraw and then because from there you would be able to uh, label the uh, the diagram based from the given okay so if this one is 2x this side here then therefore this one also is 2x this is also 2x and this is also 2x okay so this is a semicircle you can label it also this is the semi circle semicircle means half of the uh, circle this one is a square okay so the quadrilateral which is a square so if this is uh, if the distance if this one is 2x then the radius for this one is uh, 2x divided by 2 we cancel the the uh, 2 therefore the uh, radius the radius r is simply x only okay so if you are going to do the if you are going to do it like this in the in your examination then you would be able to clearly uh, find the formula of the area of this given composite shape okay so first is let's have the the area of the shape is consisting of the area of let's start with the area of the square plus the area of the semicircle okay the you remember that the question the question is you are asked to find the formula of the area of the given shape or composite shape so we have now the area of the square is of course is s to the power of 2 plus the area of the semicircle is pi r square divided by 2 okay or you can actually interchange it depending on uh, from the option. Now, why it is divided by 2 is because 
Uh, first is the area of the circle is pi r square. But because it is a semicircle, that's why we have here divided by 2 or half of the circle is one half uh, pi r square is a semicircle. Okay, so the side of the square is 2x, so that would be now 2x open and close bracket to the power of 2. Now take note, this is the very common mistake of the students. Now that's why it is very important that when you are now going to substitute the values, you must always uh, enclose it with brackets so that later when you simplify the expression it is clear for you to perform now we have plus pi r square that means times the value of our radius is x so that is now x to the power of 2 so to avoid confusion i am going to use uh, that over there divided by 2 and so this means to say that uh, 2x is the base and 2 is the power or the exponent. So you are going to multiply 2x by itself 2 times. So that means that it will be 2 to the power of 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. Okay. x times x is x squared. Okay. Plus over here also x times x is also x squared. So you are now left with pi r square, ah, sorry, pi x square divided by 2. Okay? From the option here, it looks like the value must be written first as semicircle. You can rearrange this one and the value will now become pi uh, uh, 1 half, 1 half pi r square plus 4x square and this is now the area of the shape and the formula to find the area of the composite shape is area is equal to 1 half pi r square or oh sorry pi x square pi x square because the value of the radius is x plus 4x square so let's now check. Let us now double check our options here. A, B, C, D, and E. Which of these uh, five options is giving us the, the uh, formula to find the area of this composite shape? Okay, so it looks like it is one half. Letter C is giving us that same answer. 1 half pi x square pi x square plus 4 x square okay so i think you can see it underneath there what the letter c is the correct answer uh, for uh, finding the formula for the area of this composite shape okay so meaning that everything is just going back to the basic formula of the shape so all you need to do is to remember the formula so that uh, you will not panic uh, in calculating the what is required or what is being asked in the question so of course in the national examination grade 10 uh, you are not provided with the formula so it is it is your uh, responsibility to memorize the formula so that when you are going to I use them for the particular question you would be able to uh, answer the question okay and I hope that it, that is clear to you now and that is how you are going to work out when it comes to uh, finding the area of uh, the formula of the area of the given composite shape so this is question number eight uh, 2010 mathematics for the grade 10 Okay, so please subscribe and tell others to watch this video, uh, my YouTube channel, so that you will all be guided in uh, the preparation for the national examination in October. Okay, thank you and bye for now.